welcome back to my channel here we are we are going to work on the pages to go into the album that i started with my album template and i started to do one but then the video wasn't played i mean the yeah it wasn't played the recording so i'm going to recreate rec this one for you okay so what we need is our page that we made in the last video okay now we need where's my paper we need pages for the flip and the belly band now the belly band is page nine and the flip is for main page flip so this flip is supposed to go on the main page but I was playing around with it and I wanted it on the flip you can do it on the main page because that's what it's for this is the main page I want to put it on the flip and as you see the flip is a little smaller as you can see so I have them cut out already and I'm going to show you what I did to make it a little smaller to fit on the flip. So you're going to need nine and six. So you're going to need six. How many you want is how many flips you want on, on in your journal. So if you want to print them all early, print as many flips you want. If you want one on each page, that will be four. If you want two on each page like I do, that will be eight. Or if you want to just put one or two through the, uh, the album, that's up to you. You will need nine. Where's nine? Oh, yeah, here it is. Nine. And that's your belly band, okay? So, oh, I was talking about belly band. The other one, belly band, I just put two on here. The page six is the flip. You can do as many as you want, as I should have said. I hope you got me. I'm sorry. I am a hot mess. I'm trying to do too many things at once. I'm trying to get videos because last minute I decided to go and help my daughter out for two weeks. And I need to get this going for one week ahead. So here we go. Here's the main page. Here is my flip. It looks like this. And as you see, it's going this way. Okay. I'm going to use this page. So what I want is this is going to be here on this side, right? And I want to take my other page and I want it to mirror, mirror, mirror. The same as this. So what I did here, I want to put here. Okay. So I need the flip to go up and down, right? Okay, here we go. Here's the flip page. You're going to cut this, cut this, and cut this out and get rid of it. So let me use this one. I think I can use this one. I like to keep the black lines in it. I try to keep, try to get all the white off, but that's not going to work. I always, when I try to get it as close as possible, I usually cut the black off. And I don't want to do that. Okay, so now that is for your flip. Move this out of the way. You are going to score this. Do you see it? My score stick? My scoring thing? There it is. I'm going to score it to where I'm going to keep the black and I'm just going to score it a little bit above it. I don't know if that's going to be right, but I'm going to try. See how I did that? 
I don't know if you can see it. Okay, so now you will flip it. Score it. Okay? That's that part. Now you want to take your belly band, okay? And as you see, because this fits, where's the main page? So I could, is this it? Yeah. You see how this is the main page? This is supposed to sit right on top, okay? But I wanted to put it on top, the flip. As you see, the flip is a little smaller. So you want to take your ruler and you want to measure it up. Make sure your, your belly band is even. Okay. Take your school score tool or scoreboard or whatever and just go over. Okay. So you just made a line, right? So instead of doing it on top of that, I'm going to do it here. I use that to keep it measured. Okay? Just do that. That's it. And you will be able to glue this on. And you will know no difference. So now you got to do the same thing on this side. Okay? So let me see if I have something. Because I want to keep it steady without moving. Oops, sorry. I moved the camera. My apologies. Stay over there. So I want this not to move, okay? So keep that. Make sure it's flat. Make sure it's even. Let's move it over just a little. There you go. Okay? Take this. You want to try to make it even as possible. Score it. I'm going to take it off of that. Because I don't want to mess up my flip. And do that. Fold it. And pray that it's the same size you need. <laughs> There you go. Guys, that is perfect. You see? Perfect. Now you just glue it down. Glue it, glue it, glue it. So, here's my glue. the pin out of the way. Make sure you are even. There you go. Crease that. Crease that. There you go. There's your belly band. Now you want to take your flip. Take your page. Okay. And just glue it down. Make sure this page is even to this page. And then you're good to go. And guys, make sure you use your glue, your good glue, and your good double sided tape because the better the glue, the better the stick. The longer it stays, and you don't have to worry about it falling apart in the future. I'm not going to lie. I've tried to do it with cheap glue. I'm sorry. I like Dollar Store. But when you're doing something that you're selling or making to last for a long time, the glues or the tapes that you get from the dollar store is not going to, the double sided tape, it is not going to keep that adhesive grip 
for a long period of time. Now, if you're just doing it, just the bypass for maybe a year, and 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 you're not going to be open and shutting, open and shutting, and you know all that stuff. It's good. So that's your page. Okay. So here I have a flip and a belly band, but that's going to be in the back. So now I need to make one for here, and this is where you need your flip. So as you see, um. I'm going to have this this way, so, I mean this way, right? Okay, so do I want my flip to go out like this, or do I want my flip to go like this? I am going to do my flip to go out like this, okay? It's going to go out to your right. So, I need to keep this one and cut all three of these, cut them off. Okay, let's get that started. Well, it doesn't matter where you do it, but right. <laughs> Keep the cut it. Keep your black line. See? Do this side. And then do this side. There you go. There's your flip. You need your scoreboard. Let's score this baby up. I'm going to score at this side of the black line. And move this over out of the way. the one okay now I want the flip to be this way okay so before I do that I want to think of something first do I want a pocket or not so before I go any farther by putting that on I got my pockets cut out. I think I do. I think it's good. I don't have the small one. I know my good friend took my, my pockets. I know it. I already know it. She's always taking my pockets. Here it is. Sorry. She knows who she is. Here's some pockets. I have another one. Yep, right here. There you go. She was saved from. She was saved. But she didn't take it. Okay. Now, these are my pockets. This one is. Let's get the. Let's tell you which one it is. It's the main page pocket. Large and medium pocket. Okay. And then that is number eight. That is these two. Okay. That will be, you, I said eight. It will look just like this. Okay. Just like this. Large, medium. And then you have the smaller pockets. And that would be 19. See if that's the 19. Nope, that's the different ones. Which one is it? Pockets, 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 pockets. Where's the pockets? Oh, no. Quarter pockets, 15. That's what it is. And that's that one. Okay, so you'll need those if you will like. Okay. 
and you can take them. Here are the corner ones. Cut them out. Here's the big one, the large one. You do whatever you want. Now, because this is going to be in the inside, this is going to be attached to the hinge, right? I want this pocket to be on this side. And you will glue that down. This is the pocket that you cut out. You score it. You do your lovely stuff. If you want to punch in a, a, um, a tab area snip that you can pull it out easy, that's your choice, but I'm not going to. So you can do that, and then you're going to do this. Okay, so let's glue this one down. There you go. There you go. Score it down to get a good grip. Sure. By the way, I'm using the glue, our glitter glue. And I'm using, uh, what do you call it? Recollections. Actually, I got the shimmer cardstock and it's 65 pounds. That's what I'm using. Okay. Now you want to take your flip and you want to put it on this side. And you want to make sure you even it out. Because you want it to be even, not have too much up here and too much down there. You try to even it up as much as possible. I mean, if you're like me, it doesn't really matter because it doesn't matter how much I try. I always mess up here or there. So you, if you don't really care, don't worry about it. Just put it down. So I had to stand up for that one. There you go. So you have this one, belly band, open picture space. You flip it, then you have the flip, and you have a pocket. And again, don't worry about this stuff. This is going to be your where you put your decorated paper. Okay? That is your next flip. Come to your next page. So you have this, you have this. Now we want to. Duplicate this one. Recreate this one on this page. You got the idea what I'm doing? Now, if you don't want to do it that way, trust me. You don't have to do it that way. You can do whatever you want. Guys, this is your album. You do the way you want to do it. I'm just giving you an idea. All right? Of what these um album this uh these pockets can do. Basically, this is a basic album that has so many possibilities. So now you know this is the what do you call it? You know that this is going to be the hinge. No, that's not the hinge. This is going to be the hinge, right? I should have thought of this before. So this is going to go like this, correct? So we are going to kind of mirror this in a way to make it go like this. So if you have a pocket here, I'm trying to think on this one. This is the hinge, so you want the pocket to be on this side. Okay, and I'm going to tell, put this down and tell you why you need to do it that way. Oh. Make it even. Scoot, scoot, scoot. 
I did that while I was awake. I'm not looking very well. It's all good. All right. Now, who puts a pocket on the opposite side where you can't see? I do. Okay, so this is a hinge and this is the hinge, right? Now, you put it like this and you put it like this, correct? The reason why I put the pockets away from the hinge is because when you put, say for instance, you put your tag or your whatever in there, when you open it up and turn the page, it's not going to fall out of the book. Now, say for instance, this is the hinge. No, this is the hinge, right? And you turn it, the stuff can fall out of the pocket. You got me? So that's why you put the pocket open away from the hinge. For these kind of hinges. I mean, for these pockets. Now I need this. And I want the same thing. I want the flip to be on the side. So. Cut that off. You don't have to be aggressive like I was just. Sometimes I take my anger out on my cutting board. So now you need to score it. I'm going to flip it around. I'm a righty, so it's easier to do it this way. For it and glue it down. Got it, guys? This is not hard at all, is it? Everybody gets so intimidated about, oh, an album. I'm scared. I don't know how to do it. Don't be scared. Just go with the flow. There's pain. If mine is too hard, there is probably plenty out there. Oh goodness, I can't even get it in the hole. Oh. Again, make it even. There you go. Oh. There you go. And that is that. You got the hinge, you got the hinge, I mean a uh, flip, and it's your pocket. So now that goes like that. So now we are working on this side, and we are going to be having whatever's on this one is going to be on this one. So we can do a flip, or we can just don't do a flip and just do a pocket, just like that. Okay. I'm thinking, um, my mind is processing, I don't know. We can just do that, okay? So you cut that out. Well, you already have the big one cut out, so you have the little ones. So just cut it out. And do that. Got the sun. Okay. And I'm going to move it just over just a little so I can do this. Make sure I have it on the right side. Okay. It's the worst to do it and be upside down or. Uh, yeah. Do you know how many times I rush something and I put it upside down? Too many times. that you're going to be flip and you got that pocket now like I said that's easy and that's a simple one I'm going to think a little bit to see what else I want to do to it maybe I might cut down a flip and use that I don't know yet
Okay. Oh, let's put more in here. There you go. Bring this one down. Okay, so we have this pocket. We can do more flips. Do I have any more? Of course not. Hmm. I'm thinking, guys. Let's do it. Okay, I'm going to print out some flips. Do I have any papers? Yes. So let me print out more flips, and I will go to something else while that's printing out. Come on. Two and print. All right. Now, that's this one I'm going to put a flip on, and this is what I'm going to put a flip on. So this is your, well, let's bring it that way, front page that's going to be on the front of here, the front page, okay? So... I'm thinking, you see this, see if that will fit. You see how that will fit? Perfect. So, this is page, I say tag flip, or tag pocket, that's what it's called. Tag pocket number 11. It's going to look just like this, okay? Print it out, cut it out. What you need to do is, you see how you have those lines? Now, you need to have something on the bottom, okay? I'm not going to lie. You're going to need a some kind of mat or something. When you cut, you won't worry about messing up your table or whatever. You need one of your... Your knives, your zazons, or whatever you call these things, your little knife. <laughs> Excuse me. And you need one of these for your hole puncher or something to poke a hole. And you are just going to line the hole up, punch. Line the hole up, punch. That's all you got to do. And I can't talk and do the same, do something at the same time because I will mess up. I need to focus. See, I just breathed. I breathed and cut at the same time. Ain't that something? I'm not worried about that. It's no big deal. Because you can always just line it back up and cut the darkness out. It's no big deal. There you go. Move that out of the way. Now... You need a ruler, okay? You want to line it up, and I'm going to cut on the left side of the black line. Make sure your knife is tight, and cut to the other hole you just did. That's it. See how that is? Now I'm going to do all one side and then I'm going to do the rest. Oh, don't do what I just did. It's shift. If you do, it's no big deal. You just be just like other crafters who make mistakes here or there. There's a crafter out there that says they don't mess up. That's 
not true. You just don't see it. I'm not saying anybody's a liar, but I'm just saying you just don't see it because there's nobody out there perfect. So please don't come after me. I just literally cut that over there. Did you see what I did? Look what I did. I literally just went sh over. See if I can get that out of here. When you are on video, to be honest, I, I know myself, when I'm on video, I have more mistakes on video than I do when I'm doing it just, you know, when you're crafting. If you do what I did, just take your scissors and cut it. Because I'm not going to put the knife to it again. There you go. There is, like, less mistakes when you're focusing and concentrating. Like, when you're crafting without a camera or live, or, you know, when you're not doing it on video, you're not talking, you're not worried, oh, let's not mess up, let's not mess up. You know, it's like, that didn't even cut good. It's like you're just concentrating on what you're doing. So there's no reason that you will have that many mistakes, you know. But when you're focusing on other things, I don't want to cut that. If you're focusing on other things and you're not focused 100% on the project you're working on, like you're talking or watching TV or video, you know videos or something you will tend to mess up because you're you have you're doing multiple things right so that's me I am that's why it takes me a long time to craft because I have to take my time I have to focus I have to make sure that that TV didn't distract distract me or that video did not distract me Or your friend don't distract you. And that's it. That's what you do. But you never know. Sometimes when you get distracted, you might actually do a good thing. Some things might not be meant to be, but then sometimes it was a happy accident. Do a good thing. Okay, so that's that one. Okay. So now I want to take this and I want to glue this on. So you can have, you know, place to put your things. But to be honest, I wanted to get some scotch tape. And guys, I don't even have scotch tape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this tape and I'm going to stick it on the edges. Where I just cut okay that will give you some what do you call it um strength where the tags will go in and out it will give you more strength so you don't have to worry about they they breaking or they ripping I wanted to do scotch tape but yeah so what happens when you forget to get it when you go to the dollar store. I was told, due to my age, I need to start. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I need to start writing down things because I forget way too much. That's what I was told, guys. And I was like, no, I don't think so because as long as I'm concentrating on what I'm doing, I pretty much don't forget. Only time I forget is if I'm doing multiple things and I'm not concentrating on what I'm doing or paying attention to what I'm doing. I will forget. Well, guys, 
I went to the dollar store yesterday to get paintbrushes, and guess what? I forgot. Ain't that something? I don't forget, but yesterday I did. Yesterday I did. See, that's getting more strength. And did you notice something about my paper, by the way? <laughs> I didn't realize when you when you take paper out of your the package, you know, out of the cardstock pack, you need to pay attention to where how you're putting them in your printer, because I just took. A pack, you know, like, let me show you. I just took some like this and put it in my printer, and some of them inside are not going the same way. It wasn't, or I put them in the wrong way, and some of them are cut, cut the right way with the glitter. Some are cut, this, you know, with the glitter, and some isn't. So, I just want to make sure I have a little bit more because it's cut down right there. One little spot. Just a little one. Now if I had regular white tape, clear tape, I would have just put the clear tape and moved on. And that's it. You see how that made it made it more secure, right? I'm mess fixing my mess ups. Now I'll glue it on. I'm all over there. All over the place. Alright, move this out of the way. Turn, make sure you have your pocket down. Take this and awesome. we want to even it up. Make sure that tabs are in. I need to pull it down just a little bit. There you go. There you go. And there's your bucket. And this will be in the front. And this will be in the, the, the next page. One first page, second page. So now you have, you know, all those tags you have. You have one can go here. You know, and then you can put multiples in there. Then you have another size ones. There's more. There you go. See? Isn't that sweet? And then you have 
another um what is it called another um it's called a tag pocket mat that's 12. did i print 12 out oh no no it's going to be that one okay let's see if i have one already printed out is this it Yeah, I think that's it. Yep. And what you do is you cut it out. And you just put it inside the little pocket behind there. And there you go. That's that page. Isn't that cool? So everything looks good. I wanted to keep that out for now because I don't want it to stick in the inside. Plus, I want to take all these tags out. It'll be easier to put them back in or in the um, journal. So, guys, now that I showed you how to decorate your pages, and I realized that this is over 30 minutes, and I'm going to stop here, and then I'm going to come back, and I'm going to put them back. I'm going to put them inside of what do you call this? Inside the, on the spine. But I might do the cut the flips out and then put these on first. Okay? So, with that being said, please, if you're interested in this template, it will be in my Etsy shop. And I'm going to put the ladies down in the design team, down in the link in the description, so you guys can go over and check their, channel, their channels out. And guys, let's show some YouTube support. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. If you like this, please give the thumbs up. And until my next video, guys, bye.